Okay, what I think I'm going to do is walk people through this cut because, you know, I, ne I never did one full complete start to finish, you know, as far as measuring and cutting and marking and all that. So, uh, everything is marked, okay? That's my center line. You know, I don't want to go to the top. That'll be wrong. That won't be a proper truss. You want to go right to the center. That's where this one's headed. This one's headed. They're all going to meet right at that point. So I took, uh, this is frog tape, painter's tape. The green stuff is better than the blue, by the way. This stuff actually holds. And uh, it's just a roll of frog tape. Love it. Anywho. So you run a string. Make sure you go past it so you cross that mark. Okay. Goes all the way up. I can tell you right now that, see how this board is here? I'm going to use that to my advantage. That worked out by accident. But, uh... And I crossed that mark. I went past it and then taped it. Okay. And what that allows me to do is take my angle finder, find those angles. Right. Now everything's running straight. There, there's no, you know, like this fuselage starts to come in at an angle and that's funky ends. Right. This is straight. This is supposed to line up with that wing. So we know from one end to the other, we need to find um, a center on the tube itself. Right. In the first couple videos, I, I did a, I showed you a jig where I took this, you know, you lay the tube in here and then you can mark it, okay? Now that was, that was for half inch. I don't have one for five eighths, so I'll show you how I handle that. But I know that this angle's accurate. It has to be. If we go from this center line up to this center line, this angle is an absolute fact. So... That tells me right away I can cut both ends. I'm going to cut them a little long, okay? But if my angles are correct, all I have to do then is just trim it up a little bit, ever so slightly, and just gently finesse that tube in. And remember, I'm going to do that with my grinder head, okay? These are my cutoff wheels. Buck 99, Home Depot. I'm on my second one, okay? So I'm going to take my grinder, right? And I don't even know where it is. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to start finessing that angle. I'm going to start working that radius in. And that's all it is. Once that's set, I can start putting my sides in. Now, could I have started with a side piece? Sure, I could have. But remember, I'm going to have to tack weld that in. If I do that, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on this tubing. And it's going to want to take this and push it. And then I come back over here. And because this is locked in, remember the rules of triangles on trusses. Even though this is tacked, it's very solid. So even though I go to put the second one in, it's not going to want to push back. We don't want to play those games. What we want to do is run here back down to the fuselage. Now, that's my opinion. You know, others may have a different say on that, but that's, in my experience, you want to kind of, you want to work with the weld. You want to work with the heat. You want to work with that pressure that it creates. So... I just elected to go up here first and come down. Now, as far as the front of this, I'm just going to let her fly. And I'm not going to worry about it. I haven't even given it two seconds worth of thought because I like to think of one thing at a time. So I, I'm trying to get this K-Bane structure here all worked through. Once I have that, well, that's a pretty simple affair because then I can just kind of work on the front. So that's, that's what I got going on. String, angles, and I'm going to find the center of that tubing.